to doing track. I've said yes to being in the play. I've said yes to several things. I do say yes. We're going to be talking to comedian Chris Frangiola tomorrow. He'll be back in the room doing a couple of nights at Hilarities. It was cool to catch up with him. Weird Al Yankovic on the show next week. They're dropping the Blu-ray edition of Weird, which is his um, biopic. Daniel Radcliffe plays him. Very funny move if you haven't Very seen Very funny movie. Yep. And, um, you know, a lot of people think about this song of Ferris Bueller. Did you see Alan Ruck is coming to the Agora? Is he? Yeah. What's he doing? This is an interesting trend that you're starting to see with actors who kind of go on the road. And, again, I don't know how frequent these dates are, but Alan Ruck, of course, I think is from Parma Heights. Mm-hmm. And... He's doing an evening with Alan Ruck. They just announced it this morning. They're going to screen Ferris Bueller. And I think because he's got a lot of heat on him now because of succession. But I don't know who puts these together because, like, William H. Macy is coming to Cleveland. He does a QA and a and then they show Welcome to Collinwood, which was filmed here many years ago. But you see this more and more where, like, these actors are, like, an evening with. And they... Yeah, John Cusack kind of did a thing like that a few years ago. Yeah. Did they show a movie? I think they showed a movie for that. For Cusack? Yeah. I didn't go to that one. The, that was the one that Doogie was the moderator on. Okay. But I can't remember what... I think they showed a movie. I think it was High Fidelity. And what did she ask him? Uh, about movies that... <laughs> From what I could tell, it was the worst thing that anybody's ever done based on... The audience. Uh, the audience yeah. that... Well, this station's yeah, audience. But, yeah. yeah. But... The, you no, know, Doogie's got an uphill battle with this crowd. Yeah. I'm sure but she's um, yeah, so Alan Ruck is going to do Friday, May third at the Agora, and the, the tickets. I don't know if they're when they're on sale, but um, he's been on the show a couple of times, and he's a you know Alan Ruck's one of these guys. People remember him as Cameron and Ferris Bueller, but he's been a working actor the whole time. He shows up in all kinds of things. I think he was in, stuff. He was in he was Twister. In he was in Speed. He right. Was in uh, what was the show Spin City. He was on Spin City. Spin City. Spin City. I think he really blew up because of Succession. City. If you watch that show, Spin City with Michael J. Fox and then yes. Charlie Sheen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was the Sheen administration more popular than the Fox administration on that show? I I watched it. I watched with, it with Fox. With Fox, yeah. Okay. I kind of fell off when it went to Sheen. Really? I wonder if that's streaming it. I'm about done with King of Queens. Look at you. It's one of my wife's comfort shows. Is hey, that's kind of what I've been using it as, just like on in the. Just when I get home, I don't want to think about it. Just King of Queens, throw that on, watch two or three episodes, have some laughs. Oh, Doug and Carrie. Mm-hmm. You're crazy. <laughs> they fight all the time, but deep down, they really love How each did he other. ever get her? I you mean, should, come on. You should just move to Queens, Mary. They don't even worry about it. I kind of want to. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Astoria. You're no, 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 not Astoria. You go out, you gotta go out to where they live. What do they, they lived in uh, like way the hell out there. No, I'm not doing that. Way the hell out there, Queens. I'm not going to way the hell out there, Queens. <laughs> what is it? Forest Hills, I believe. Yeah. They were. Speaking of speed, I was reading about a guy who just stole a mass transit bus down there in Atlanta. He started to fight with the driver, and the driver goes, screw this, and gets off, and the guy just starts driving the bus. So now I'm driving the bus. <laughs> <laughs> you drive the bus. And the mother, he comes to and he starts choking me. So I'm fighting him off with one hand and I kept driving the bus with the other, you know. Then I managed to open up the door and I kicked him out the door, you know, with my foot, you know, at the next stop. You kept making all the stops? (laughs) Well, people kept ringing the bell. Mm -hmm. What happened to the pinky toe? Yeah, the mass transit there in Atlanta is called Marta, and a guy started yelling at a bus driver because the guy didn't have money. He tried to get on the bus without paying. This happens all the time. If you've taken mass transit for any uh, lengthy period of time, you see this pretty frequently where people get on and they'll just walk because they're like, what's the driver going to do? This guy was screaming at the bus driver after getting on and trying to get on without paying. Uh, When the driver 
got off the bus to report the incident. The guy stole the bus. And um, another passenger, and this happens a lot too, somebody will go, look, I got to get to work, so I'll pay your three bucks so you can ride the bus. Uh, except the guy, I guess, wanted to have it out with the driver or something. So, you know, he's mental, whatever. He's making noise. He's banging the seats. Sorry, banging on the seats. He wasn't banging the seats. Isn't that crazy? And is screaming at the, you know, he takes off in the bus. But he didn't get very far. Yeah, at that point, he was trying to make a U-turn at the entrance. And he could not make the U-turn, so he, he exited the bus, put on the jacket of the operator, and started walking off the bus. Operator <laughs> had his jacket on the bus, and then he put on that, that jacket and trying to walk off the bus. And that's when Stone Mountain Park PD stopped him and detained him. Think about the disrespect. He's wearing the driver's coat. Because the guy just left it on the the seat, right? In the driver's seat? You know, it gets warm in the bus sometimes, so you want to... In Atlanta? It, yeah, I think Atlanta's a pretty warm... Climate. It gets warm on the bus, so you want a coat? Well, no, you want to take it off. Like it, No, it, no, I understand that. No, I understand. In the morning, it's probably cold, and yeah. then as the day goes on... Yeah, yeah no, I get all that. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, the yeah. coat is always hanging in the back yeah. of the... This guy took it and put it on. I know. It's a, it's a flex. Son of a bitch. Show it would have been a bigger flex yes, if you could have made yes, that yes, U-turn. Yes. I could make a U-turn. You got to understand, you got to swing out yeah. and then come back around. You can't just make a hard U-turn. You nope. got you to do the swing out on them big vehicles. You kind of got to fishtail it a little bit. Mm-hmm. So he will you uh, got your CDL. You don't know that he will get his um, he'll get charged with uh, hijacking a motor vehicle. Nobody got hurt. There's no damage to the bus. But just the notion that he can't navigate the U-turn. And then before he gets off, grabs the guy's coat. Mm -hmm. He's but trying to blend in. I like the notion of the bus driver. He's like, I'm going to go report this. They're like, yeah, sure you are. Just leave everybody on the bus. He's like, I don't get paid enough for this. And he's like, oh, wait, I do get paid. This is a union gig. Wait, just kidding. Driving for Marta in Atlanta. I got um, a trip to L.A. for you. I'm burying the lead. Our iHeartRadio Alter Ego Festival is going to happen middle of next month. Today, tomorrow, and Wednesday... Sorry, uh, I'm thinking today's Monday. Today and tomorrow are going to be the last two trips I will have for you uh, to put you out there. So you'll be second to last. It's Paramore, Pound Cake's favorite punk band. Uh, or no, that's Panic at the Disco. Paramore is his favorite heavy metal band. No, that's Evanescence. Oh. Where does Paramore fall in your uh, genre listings, Pound Cake? Just my favorite band. Favorite band, okay. So to rank them, it would be Paramore... Panic of the Disco, mm -hmm. Evanescence. Evanescence. Yeah. Gotcha. That's it. Uh, it's going to be the 1975 and the Black Keys, who I understand are um, from nearby uh, Akron, Ohio. And uh, more bands for you at the um, Honda Center there in Anaheim. So listen closely. We fly you in a pal out, put you up, get you some money, and take us to the whole shebang. So I hope you win. Good luck. Now, your chance at a trip to our iHeartRadio alter ego. Text the nationwide keyword, all. To the number 200 200. You'll get a confirmation text and info, standard data and message rate supply in this nationwide contest. That's all to 200 200. I didn't know if you were going to mention it in Perez Bilton, but Macaulay Culkin got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Maybe we did mention this and I forgot. No, we haven't. We, talked about I don't this. think we talked about this. But, but, but we mentioned Paris Jackson in some capacity. She is very tall. I know she had, like, heels on, but she's tall. Who's the dad? Who is Paris and Blanket Jackson's dad? Allegedly, uh, Michael's... Bodyguard. Yes. Is Debbie Rowe the mom? Yes. She wasn't just a surrogate. She is the mom of... She's their biological mother. She is the biological mother of Paris and the older son, Prince. And then Was that who that, that's the one they call Blanket? No, Blanket's the baby. baby uh, oh. They don't know who his father or his oh. mother is for Blanket. Well, anyway, Macaulay Culkin, Jr. Yeah, Macaulay Culkin got his star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and Seth Green was there. One of the other Culkin brothers was there, the one with the long hair. And I forget the Macaulay Culkin as a kid with Brenda's song. Yeah. If you remember, who, she's foxy. 
because he was with Mila Kunis for a long time. God bless Macaulay Culkin because I don't know how he does it. He's probably a nice guy. Well, he's probably a nice guy, but he's probably not crazy loaded. He aged very wobbly um, in the face department. (laughs) There's a lot of people. uh, Listen, it's an uphill battle if you are a super cute child star. You're you're never going to maintain that, obviously. But I guess a lot of people hadn't heard him talk in a long time, so people were freaking out. If you saw Macaulay Culkin trending earlier in the week, it's because they hadn't apparently seen him in anything recently. And I don't know if they thought he was still going to sound like he was seven or whatever. But, yeah, he's got a kid with Brenda Song, and she's really foxy. She was on that Sweet Life back in the day, right? Show where she blew up, Pound Cake? Yes. You're my Disney Channel go-to. Yes. When my older kids she, were younger, that with Ashley Tisdale and Brenda Song. And, Brenda you know. Song was a, a parodying uh, Paris Hilton. There was, you go. It was the t- She was London Tipton. London Tipton, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah. Right. So, yeah, Macaulay Culkin. But Paris Jackson is standing in this group photo, and she's at the end, and she's very tall, and she's very pretty. So I'm curious who the dad is, because there are people who still, to this day, swear up and down that Michael Jackson is the dad, but anyone drawing breath that has two functioning eyes knows that's not the case. So I wonder who the dad is. But anyway... Ah, uh, good for him. Hey, Thigh Mule. Hello, Alan. How are you today? What's going on, man? I just wanted to, uh, I needed to slot myself perfectly nestled comfortably between Thanksgiving and Christmas. I wanted to wish you a warm and convivial holiday. <laughs> I hope all of your meals are filled with the luxuries and accoutrements. Yeah. I hope Bill has a funny Christmas and is very uh Fills the air with splendor of his jokes. I hope that Pound Cake has lots of men for Christmas. I just want everyone. I want everyone to be uh, as 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 a uh, as, as perfect of a holiday as possible. From your very professional friend and Cleveland legend, as I mule. Uh, I, I, Mary seems to be an egregious absence there, and that yeah, going around the horn. Oh, I'm so sorry. Just and because actually, she's leaving doesn't mean that she doesn't have feelings. Why not, why not a bunch of men for her? She has I uh, I hope that her fashionista tendencies rise to the occasion, and as she walks through the door of said gatherings that she will or will not be attending, <laughs> that her eyes are gazed upon by all of the uh, greedy, wanting, <laughs> dead women that cannot have a woman that cannot have a woman as special as her for Christmas. This has really oh, spun out hey. into something I had never seen coming, but... Uh, I'm feeling more convivial by the moment. You should. Wow. Well, I hope so. You're a great host, and uh, your candor and integrity stretch beyond the imagination, leaps and bounds. You don't have to tell me. In your <laughs> in your respected market. So of course. Cheers to you. Kudos. Bike your egg dog a little more hearty, and uh, you know, keep yourself toasty. Will do, and thank you. Uh, I'll say ditto. Thank you. I'll, I'll call you after the new year and check in on how your new year is going. I promise. I'll hold you through that. Promise. Oh, I like a good promise. There's our, our buddy Thigh Mule, who called to troll me and prank me for many, many years until we met in person. At the Foo Fighters at the House of Blues prior to them getting inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And um, we laid down our swords. Aww. And, uh, well, he did. I, I didn't care one way or the other. But a uh, nice enough guy, and um, and thank you for, listen, you get those kinds of well wishes from anybody. And uh, you certainly can't uh, look askew at them anymore. If you listen to us on the iHeartRadio app, by the way, wherever you listen, you can always leave us messages with the talk back button there. Oh, goodness. So I I tried to let it go, and I just couldn't. Yesterday, you were talking about the sky burials, and Bill just, as a kind of throwaway, said, nothing hurts when you're dead, not even emotional stuff. And that just struck me as kind of sad and a little bit on the dark side. (laughs) I hope you're okay, buddy. I love you. Bye. Yeah, it's all taken care of when you're dead. Yeah, that's right. He didn't say anything untrue. I certainly didn't read anything into that. No more I think it's, 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 uh, you know, what I think happens when you die is that you're just done. And so there is no pain. What is nothing? But he, but how nice that he was 
genuinely yeah. concerned about your state of mind. Well, I appreciate that. I, <laughs> I like to do some, some dark humor from time to time. What if someone's personal hell is them being conscious for, like being dead, but in it, your mind can still wander and, and know that you're dead, you're rotting, people are burning me alive, people are eating me. Are like, you feeling it, though? Eating you? It. What do you mean? Wait, wait, who's eating me? I, I'm just, birds and worms and are stuff. Are they cooking me? You said what? people you said, yeah. are eating me. Oh, well, I didn't mean that, but I'm saying things Animals. are eating me. Yeah. You're just decomposing? And you're just yeah, like, and you, in your All mind. the while, I'm just like, ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah. Like, I, what do I care anymore? You can't talk. You can't, but like, yeah, you're I'm feeling just the pain. singing in my head. No, he said you feel the pain. You, oh, why, why would you feel the pain? I'm saying, what if that's someone's hell? Like, what if you, what if that is that's feeling? Your, yeah. The person feeling dies, goes to hell, and their hell is not fire just, and brimstone. It's, just, it's, it's just decomposing? knowing you're dead. Yeah. Yeah, and then like instead of like everything's black, like you're like, oh my gosh, I'm dead. Like you, you can think of this your song because I'll be in heaven. You just sit in the grave and you just sit there. And sit in the grave. I do like that. I, I like the notion of if you're going to get buried, do it from a sitting position. Like, what am I supposed to do? I'm dead. Like, I, like I can't get out of here. I'm just laying here. Mm -hmm. Who's and gonna... so your concern is what? Like, if you're just dead for all eternity, like, uh, what? and you're conscious, you don't think that that's change? miserable? I don't know. You get used to it through eternity. Like, I need to get out of here. This is boring. Like, I'm just laying here and it's cold. Mm hmm. And, and you're worried about what? I wouldn't like it. But you wouldn't know why? What? That is his hell. Yeah, that would so be my hell. So instead of going to devil hell with fire and, and being demons and being tortured, you your hell is that you are conscious of being in a dead. casket yeah. dead. You're, you're my hell is hearing him try to explain this over and over <laughs> again. <laughs> Trying to help. Okay, who sings this? Nailed it. Nailed it. Well, he's not going to get this. No. I mean, as a deep cut for somebody as... Uh, the Eagles? Not the Eagles, no. Dinosaur Jr., Jim Askus. Did I tell you that my best friend... <laughs> Todd Berry. <laughs> the singer of Dinosaur Jr. Friend. He happens to be the lead mm -hmm. singer of Dinosaur Jr. Mm-hmm. Song will be 30 years old next year. Make you feel like you're aging. So good. Oh, good. I, I watched A Christmas Story on Saturday, and it's so funny because that movie was made in the 80s, and it took place, I believe, in the 50s. Mm -hmm. And that's now, if we were to make A Christmas Story uh, that was 30 years ago, it would be made in the... 2020s and take place in the 90s. Oh yeah, yeah right. That, that's mm -hmm. I hate that. I hate that so Way much. Way back when <laughs> yeah. in 1993. Yeah, Pound Cake was just a little slip of a lad back then. He wasn't a He was yeah, new. He was brand new. Fresh. Yeah. Right at the oven. I, I've got to take a break. I will have those avenged sevenfold tickets for you if you want to go see those guys. Uh they've decided to go back on tour in 2024. They got Poppy and Sullivan King on the lineup with them if you needed any more.